All right, I've got a PS2 keyboard, an Arduino, and a LCD screen, and we'll see how it works. Hello world, can you see that on there? Yeah. And uh, so that's, work, that's working fine. And if we keep going to, um, to the end of the screen, keep typing, and you can use spaces if you want, and uh, just keep going. It'll go to the bottom, and then it, it'll uh, erase the screen, go back up to the top, and start over again. So we'll see if that works. Okay, so that did, and we can keep typing up there. Now, um, I don't have a backspace on it because I'm going to uh, use this for a, a Morse code. It's going to send a signal to the uh, uh, radio, and it'll send it out. And if you once you send it, you know, if you make a mistake and send it out, it's it's not you're not going to backspace isn't going to get it back for you. So uh, now, if you just want to clear the screen at this point, I'm just I just reset the uh, Arduino is all, and it it clears the screen off. So so that works fine, and uh, so I'll leave a link to this in my. Uh, in the description and so I've got the keyboard and I have it tied to uh, uh, the clock on the keyboard and here's the here's the pin out this is the mail's plug that you'll get with it I just cut it off and tied it right to the uh, Arduino here so uh, the clock goes to uh, uh, a2 the uh, and the uh, data goes to a3 on there okay and then uh, four and five of course that's that's your uh, SCL and SD SDA because I'm using a uh, the I squared C for the uh, LCD screen just makes it easier. So uh, that's that's all you need. Those four connections on there, and I'm using the five volts off the uh, the LCD. And it actually works just uh, with the uh, USB uh, uh, cable on the uh, Arduino if you want. So the reason I, I went with a uh, the PS2 keyboard, it's a bidirectional synchronous uh, serial protocol. So it's got a stop bit, a start bit, a eight your eight data bits. A priority bit a stop bit and uh, that's all there is to it now we're not even looking at anything except for these eight data bits we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of anything else just look at the eight data bits and that's gonna give us a, a, a you know a binary number and uh, it related to one of the keys on the, on the board there okay now that's not your ASCII number so we're, we're gonna set up a table to take those keypad numbers and convert them to ASCII so that it can print it out on the uh, the LCD there you know and if you're using the uh, USB keypad, um, uh, you know, keyboard, it's uh, it's a little tougher to do. So I, I didn't do it, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's uh, a non-return non to zero inverting encoding. So you can see here it's a little bit more complicated, but uh, they do have um, uh, modules you can to uh, convert that to, uh, so you can use it on our Arduino. But uh, I'm just using the uh, um, PS2 and I'm, I'm not even using a library or anything. Now, uh, I've tried different libraries with it, and I couldn't find one that, that worked for my setup here. But uh, I found this guy, this this uh, uh, Karsten uh, Herding. He's got a he's got a, a website, and he explains it uh, pretty good. How to and he he came up with this uh, uh, program, and uh, he he uh, he allows you to modify it if you want. So I, I went ahead and modified this one for for what I needed, and so. Um, so the, there's only just a couple things that uh, probably go over in here. So uh, what I'm doing in here, you know, we put the liquid crystal and all that stuff in there. Let's see what the next page is here. The part that I did here. So um, that's the last page. There we go. So in order to, um, if you just put it... If, you know if you just put the program in there and you tie it to your uh, LCD screen it's just going to go to the first cursor all the time it'll just be in the first line you can change the text will change but it'll just all be in the fir first cursor so you want to be able to advance a cursor and uh, so in order to do that you have to know that there's a key press so what I did is I just have uh, uh, I put these are in strings it's a string so it's a new string and is equal to or not equal to the previous string okay so if they're different then it'll it'll advance and it goes down here cursor position just puts that up once and uh, then what happens the only trouble with that is if you have a, a letter if the letter t has two t's in it the second t won't won't come up and won't advance because it's got the, it's the same letter it just won't it won't advance it so what i'm using i'm using this uh, 
and, and text is my uh, serial string that I'm using, okay? And uh, uh, so I'm just using this remove function, okay? So this is the this is the uh, ASCII code here, this text, and then the remove. So, and what that does is it uh, it shifts the text by removing the first character, okay? So it's going to be different than the uh, the previous. And these are going to be different, and it's going to go ahead and advance it. Then I'm waiting uh, two tenths of a second. I'm going to move the cursor position forward again, and then I'm going to remove the text again, and then I'm going to uh, print it, print again right there. So. Uh, and then you set the, uh, the cursor uh, and position in the row. And then to wrap it around, I'm just uh, uh, changing the row every time it gets to the uh, 19. Every time it gets to the end, I'm changing the row. And I'm counting the rows up. And then when it gets to four, I'm just clearing, clearing it out. Okay. So that's all I'm doing there. And then this here code that down here, this is a... a scan code to ASCII okay and that's what uh, it shifts the that's what we go back up to the uh, to this here and this is the table with the ASCII numbers in it okay and that's related to the numbers on the uh, keypad here that are, we're getting from here and it's going to convert it to to ASCII and then it'll print out the print out the character so there's a couple um, things that uh, we did here that uh, could be a little confusing oh here we go so this uh, PCI CR okay that's a, a, a pin change interrupt groups okay and uh, this uh, two here actually is uh, it's for a port C and uh, it enable it uh, it allows interrupts on uh, a zero through a five okay and we're using a two for the uh, for the clock here okay and then uh, this here this uh, pcm ski and what that does is it's a pin uh, change mask register it enables interrupts and uh, uh, it's used to detect a change in the pin and so it detects a change in the pin without constantly looking you know in your in your void loop there to check on check on it it just does it automatically for you okay and then uh, this, uh, where is it at here? There's another function here. Uh, oh, this one here. This ISR PCINT there. Uh, that one, uh, what that does, that checks the status of the uh, pin A2 that I have it on, and it'll take action on it then. So, and, you know, uh, the rest is it's fairly straightforward there. But, uh, yeah, that, it, it seems to work fine. And, uh, like I said, I don't have a backspace on there. I could, I could probably put that in there, but I don't, I don't think I need one. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up another um, table with the uh, Morse code uh, symbols on there, or Morse code on there. And uh, so then when I, it'll, it'll read up the number letters on here, and then it will uh, send out a Morse code signal. So that's my follow-up project on there. But anyway, that's. Uh, that's all there is to it. I'll leave a link to this stuff in the uh, description. And, uh, yeah, it seems, it seems to work fine. And, uh, you know, uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Carson for, uh, for doing that. And he, he allows you to uh, modify it and use it in your own project if you'd like. So, uh, anyway, he, uh, you could take a look at his website, and he explains it a lot better than I do. But uh, it works. And uh, so, uh, yeah, it'll be... Uh, It'll be good, and I'll use it for a Morse code. So, thank you.